Good evening, everyone. It is June seventh, and we are doing and we're talking about Jesus shorts again today. We're going to talk about the eye of the needle. Where that w w everything, every parable, every idiom that Jesus spoke about was well known by the Jewish people, um, or should have been. But even in this, the um, disciples didn't get it because they didn't have the Holy Spirit yet. We have an advantage they didn't have. Matthew nineteen six. Now behold, one came to him and said, Teacher, what good shall I do to have eternal life? Why do you ask me about what is good? Yehoshua said to him, There is only one who is good, but if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Which ones, he said. Now, you know, I was taught in Sunday school that it was all of them. But it's not what it says. Here's what it says. Yehoshua said, do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother. And love your neighbor as yourself. Now there's a few of them that got left out. One of which was, don't put anything above God the Father. Well, that's not up here. So... Did he sin? Sure. That's what Jesus was saying. You're putting your wealth over Jesus, over God, my Father. Um, that's your stumbling block. And the disciples didn't get it. All these I've kept, the young man said to him. What do I still lack? Yoshua said to him, you wish to be perfect. Go sell what you own. Give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. But when the young man heard these statements, he went away grieving, for he had much property. So it exactly pours out. Now, I didn't put on here, I don't think. No. Matthew 19. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Who then can be saved? I think it was Peter that asked that question. Well, if you if you know anything about the, the way Jewish cities were structured, even if they only had 50 people in it, they had a 25-foot set of doors, and then they had a little tiny short door for people to come in. after the, At night, just before sundown, they would shut those big gates, and it took them 15, 20 minutes to get them closed. And, and they had to assemble a group of oxen or horses or whatever. And if you came late, you could, they could pull you through that little. So it didn't mean that the, it was impossible for that, for that camel to pass through an eye of a needle. But it was with great difficulty because they had to get that camel down on its knees, put a rope around its neck, pull it from one end, and get 10 guys on the other end pushing. And they had to slide it in the dirt through this little doorway this big. And, it, and knowing that if an enemy came and they tried to crawl through there one at a time, they could easily just cut their heads off before they even got out. So that is that is the reason, because this man was not as pure as I, it was always told to us. So um, it, it is important that we know that we don't have to be perfect, but we do need to receive Jesus and ask for forgiveness. So I, I thank everybody for checking in. Um, Streetlightgr.com, Facebook. Streetlight Bible Study for uh, at Streetlight Bible Study 4006. Be blessed and always, always remember to be a blessing because you will stand out from the rest of the world if you do that. Thank you for tuning in.